is an HDO unit. High definition oscillometry is the newest generation of blood pressure measurement devices. It's the first technology offering accurate readings in all pressure ranges. HDO is providing visible real-time measurement and allows detection of even the smallest amplitudes, changes in cardiac output as seen in arrhythmias and extremely rapid pulse rates. Although HDO can be used as a standalone unit, it's always recommended to hook it up to the PC or laptop for visualization of the measurement. Visualization of the graph allows you to identify presystolic buildup wave which are caused by each pulse wave bouncing against a closed artery. With slow arterial opening, blood flows initially with increasing turbulence through the vessel, creating oscillations with increasing height up to a maximum, the mean arterial pressure, followed by decreasing signals due to the change from turbulent to laminar flow. This can be nicely followed on the screen. Systolic and diastolic pressure are easily identifiable as a red amplitude. The installation of the software is particularly easy with the included CD-ROM. The unit can be hooked up to the PC or laptop for real-time visualization of the blood pressure amplitudes. Simply insert the USB cable to the jack on the unit and additionally on the PC. In case the unit is used without the PC, data can be transferred via this USB port later to the PC for more detailed analysis. Before measuring an animal, select the right cuff. HDO comes with three cuffs for small animal measurements. This is the cat cuff, which can be used for toy breed dogs, rabbits, ferrets and other small mammals. This is the small dog cuff. This is the large dog cuff. Before starting a reading, allow the animal to accommodate to the surroundings. Never measure blood pressure in a hurry, as it will make the animal nervous or even uncooperative. The reading, if performed in a cooperative patient, will not take much longer than two to three minutes for three to five consecutive readings. Having a patient in this position can be beneficial in dogs with breathing difficulties, such as with decompensated heart disease. The increased respiratory rate and effort does not influence the measurement. Shifting weight from the left to the right limb caused artifacts which could be seen during this measurement and are displayed in the final graph as well. The artifact also is visible on the linearity curve. The blood pressure measurement is not influenced by these artifacts as the electronic valve regulation of the HDO ensures a return to linearity and thus an immediate cutoff of the artifact. Note, this is not an extreme example of movement artifacts. Remember, the dogs seem to be relaxed, but still artifacts appeared. Therefore, always make sure the animal is put in a relaxed position, like here, which avoids as much artifacts as possible to allow successful measurements. Watch the reading on the laptop screen. Even some movements of the leg do not interfere with the measurement as no weight shifting nor active muscle contractions take place. This is a perfect reading. Linear deflation without interruption. No artifacts, regular measurement pattern. The entire reading was done within 20 seconds. Especially very excited or shivering dogs, but also dogs with some aggressive potential, may be preferably measured at the base of the tail. The cuff is placed appropriately when the small finger just fits beneath the cuff. Dogs, especially larger ones, seem to like the down position and it could be a preferred position for the measurement. Cats are as easy to measure as dogs are. Again, measurements can be taken from the front leg or the base of the tail. When applying the cuff, avoid producing a fold like this. A fold can cause an error message. Close the cuff tightly, but not too tightly. Do the small finger test. The little finger should fit just in between the cuff and the limb. This is a typical reading in a cat. 
At the beginning, the cat is totally relaxed and nice amplitudes are visible. Then it turns its head and the artifacts that are produced can be seen on screen. Shifts weight to the leg which is being measured and contracts muscles, resulting in considerable artifacts. Still, the results given are a valid reading. To avoid such artifacts, it's easier and even more relaxed for a cat to be measured on the base of the tail, like shown before on the dog. The graphic of the measurement shows a perfect trace without any artifacts. The window on the top shows the blood pressure measurement, 125 being the systolic pressure, 77 the diastolic pressure, and 100 the mean arterial pressure with a pulse rate of 140. The window below shows the measurement parameters used by the machine for this reading. The maximum inflation pressure was 225 millimeter mercury. The minimum deflation pressure was 25 millimeters mercury. Due to the pulse rate of 140, a deflation rate of 14 millimeter mercury per second was chosen by the unit, allowing a measurement to be completed within 12 seconds. With a higher heart rate, the deflation rate could even be increased up to 18 millimeters mercury, resulting in a reading as fast as 8 seconds. Gain was chosen with 280, meaning that the amplitude derived from the artery is strong enough for this degree of amplification. Gain is a specific feature of HDO which is not provided by any other device. This is again how the cuff is applied to the base of the tail, this time with a cat. Place the sensitive part of the cuff over the artery and secure a tight fit. Then start the measurement. What's not perfect here? The cat is sitting. As a result, the cuff is not on the same height as the base of the heart. The graph is perfect as it can be watched on the laptop screen. And the trace of the final result is nice and regular without any artifacts. Still, the results are, as expected, a little higher than before. Remember, a cuff position much below the base of the heart will result in higher readings, a cuff position above the base of the heart will result in lower readings. The following pictures will show some typical HDO patterns. Amplitude distribution during surgery with detailed view of systolic, mean, diastolic pressure. This dog was sedated with L-methadone, midazolam, isoflurane. Although the surgical procedure was a TPLO, which is associated with significant pain if anesthesia is not deep enough, blood pressure remained in a normal range throughout anesthesia and no arrhythmias developed over the entire course of the surgery. High initial blood pressure with ketamine and xylazine plus isoflurane. An arrhythmia started and was maintained although dog remained stable. This is the corresponding ECG with arrhythmias. This dog developed arrhythmias with cardiac output deviations of over 200 millimeters mercury in between two heartbeats, meaning that the blood pressure fluctuated from 297 to 93 millimeters mercury systolic pressure from one measurement to the next. Reaction to dopamine. Severe arrhythmias visible on HDO as high and low amplitudes and the direct arterial blood pressure measurement line on the screen as deflections on the x-axis. This is a cat in shock. Cardiac output and the peripheral vascular situation lead to very weak amplitudes. This HDO measurement was taken with a gain, meaning an amplification, of 640. Still, the trace is extremely tiny. Such a pulse would not be detected with either a Doppler nor a conventional oscillometric system. 
HDO scans the amplitudes with 16,000 Hz compared to 200 Hz hearing ability of a human ear and 50 Hz sensitivity of conventional oscillometric systems. This is an arrhythmic HDO pattern often found in boxer dogs. Blood pressure is still stable and heart rate is acceptable. In summary, blood pressure measurement with HDO units offers additional information other units cannot provide. The most relaxed readings with very little to no artifact can best be obtained from the base of the tail. Dogs as well as cats can be measured easily and fast with the new HDO technology. There's no excuse not to measure blood pressure anymore.